Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And in today's video, I want to cover some of the latest news on the new structures on the Citadels. And it's really that feature that I'm looking forward to the most uh, that we know about that's in the pipeline. And honestly, some of it looks uh, pretty damn good. Some of it I'm maybe a little bit worried about. Uh, some of the capture mechanics could be quite punishing. Uh, for people that want to uh, hit a bit, a bit above their weight when it comes to the size of the structures that they want. But let's uh, let's dive right in here. Let's go for the browser. Let's uh, check out the two dev blogs that have been released on that. So the easiest way tends to be to go for the community website. And here on the bottom left, you can see the dev blogs. Now I'll start with the latest one. Um, because it is Citadel's Sieges and You. So this... Uh, will explain all of the mechanics that CCP is currently um, considering for the citadels. Keep in mind all of this is work in prog uh, progress and definitely subject to change so uh, you have to take all of this with a grain of salt. If you have comments, if you see real problems with the systems that uh, CCP uh, is planning uh, in this dev blog, feel free to put that in the comments. Uh, definitely give a heads up to CCP because they're looking at all of our feedback at the moment. Um, so the idea for the capture process with the Citadels is going to be exactly um, like uh, what's the new, what the new, new sovereignty system is like. So using the Entosis link. What's pretty important is that while you're deploying um, the, the Citadel, it will be uh, vulnerable so that is actually pretty dangerous something to keep in mind and the times I think that they're planning to go with here is for a medium citadel to have one hour of deployment time a large two hours and an excel four hours so you do need to be prepared to defend yourself uh, while you're deploying the citadel after that it's pretty much a normal entosis cycle so an attacker can try to uh, entosis your structure now of course in the meantime um, if you're present, you can presumably go in that structure and use all of the weapons and the drones, maybe the fighters that are available there. So it's not like it's going to be a given that this is all too easy to do. But uh, the basic capture mechanic is once again, uh, just use the Entosis link on the structure long enough uh, without uh, any resistance. And there you go. First cycle is done. After that, you will go into like a, a reinforced timer. And on the next vulnerability cycle, it's again an entosis warfare that's going to happen. Uh, what I do find interesting is that it will work with vulnerability windows, just like uh, in the sovereignty system. But you will be able to set those um, depending on how you want. So here we go for vulnerability one. And here's an example. Um, the corporation is a small five-man corporation that has a large citadel in high security space within a, uh, within a six hour of weekly with a six hour uh, of weekly vulnerability window so not being a hardcore gamer the structure owner decides to set vulnerability window two hours during tuesday evening and four hours on saturday so that is something that you could very well do uh, especially on the smaller structures, medium and large, you could put uh, a vulnerability window on the day of the week where you know that you'll be online, that there's the most activity in your corporation, that you'll be able to actually defend your structure. So that's that's pretty good. It's not uh, on the smaller structures. It's not going to be a uniform um, a uniform uh, uniform vulnerability window every single day of the week. So I think that that does give us a little bit more. Uh, possibility when it comes to deploying uh, the larger structures like the large one which I'm personally contemplating and uh, now for the Excel one uh, you we're talking 21 hours so you'll need three hours every day of the week if you want to keep it uh, at a three hour window uh, but conceivably you could also say well we're gonna go with uh, uh, with just four days where we're vulnerable but something like five to six hours on those days so I, I do like the idea that you can actually set those uh, times depending on your own play style um, the vulnerability timers well an excel becomes quite punishing 21 hours in high sec low sec and null sec with full occupancy wormhole space 42 hours that's pretty vulnerable and in null sec without occupancy 64 hours vulnerability time uh, that's quite a big uh, chunk of, of time here that you need to be able to defend uh, like a staging excel um, um, uh, a staging Excel structure that you're planning to, 
to, to place there. Also keep in mind the fact that this is for the citadels uh, does not mean that it's going to be the same for all of the other structures. So they could have their own times. Uh, th these are definitely like uh, handles that CCP can tweak depending on the structure, depending on the feedback or what's happening on TQ. Uh, so after that, um, it's going to be a calculation that's basically done to decide when uh, the structure goes out of reinforce into the next vulnerability window where another uh, Entosis link contest is actually going to decide uh, whether the structure survives if the defender wins or if the structure is destroyed if the attacker wins. And somewhere in here, I'm not exactly sure where it is anymore, uh, I read that Entos, uh, using an Entosis link on a structure in Heisek would only make you... Um, um, make you yellow so it, it will not be concord uh, that's going to uh, to interfere if you try to use the entosis link if you try to shoot the structure with weapons which is completely pointless you will get concorded uh, for instance during the deployment uh, maybe something like that is possible uh, but for using the entosis link as far as i understand it it's only going to be um, that it makes you uh, a suspect and so everyone can shoot you but it's not like uh, Concord's gonna stop uh, someone from, from trying to entosis whatever they can in HiSIC during the vulnerability window. So keep that in mind and with this information my first idea is I'll probably stick to a large one um, which is conceivably something that, that a single person or a very small corporation can still handle uh, time-wise. Um, so that's pretty much it for the combat mechanics that, we, that CCP is planning to use. Um, was there anything different here? No, I don't think that there's really been that much uh, feedback or back and forth about this dev blog. But the real one is this one right here. I feel safe in Citadel City and that one has some really good information. So the idea here is that once a Citadel is destroyed, what's going to happen with everything that is inside that Citadel? And it gives one very, uh, uh, very important point of information am i in the right one yes i am okay so here is, is a, like a little bit of an overview uh, fuel uh, ammo and job input materials will be able to drop as loot uh, structure rigs will definitely be destroyed um, i think things that were in, um, fitted on the structure will also be able to drop as loot 50 percent chance as always uh, all hull and base materials will become a wreck and then items in personal and corporate hangars will be going into uh, an impound system which you can then choose to either um, um, have that moved to a safe place uh, or another structure where if it's an NPC station where it's completely safe that's going to cost you a fee presumably 10% so that's actually not, uh, not something to just uh, uh, scoff away, you know, 10% of the entire value of the, uh, the the assets that were saved. That's actually quite a little bit. You don't want to have to do that too often. Or to another structure, another player-owned structure, like within a big alliances, uh, they could actually um, move those impounded items to a structure. Uh, another aspect is that this will not be instant, so there will be uh, a, a set time uh, depending on how far the goods will have to be moved that they will not be available they will not be in the hangar of the other structure where you decided to uh, to have them delivered so uh, I, I personally like this that means that um, you might want to use these and, and you won't just lose everything that you decide to put in that structure um, but um, if you actually lose it a 10 percent especially for like a big alliance if it becomes like a staging structure they have that uh, all of their fleets in there if that gets destroyed they have to move all of that a 10 percent cut on this could actually be something that well uh, could uh, have a serious impact on an ongoing war or something like that for instance um, where was the important one that i personally like here we go market orders will not be available as loot and are going to remain safe from raiding since they are based on player hangers and why do i find that one so important because the way i'm uh, interpreting this it means that even for a medium a large or an excel um, citadel you will be able to create a market there people will be able to sell things uh, and buy things so that also means that with a little bit of luck you'll be able to set the docking public just like in an outpost i think if, if you can do that you can allow any um 
uh, any player to dock there and then to use the market and thus that is actually what I wanted out of out of the structures there is to be able to put up my own HQ be able to do my thing there but also make all of those goods available for people that want to buy from me um, and basically you can create your own little uh, markets wherever you want so I'll have to look for a good place but that is very good news in my opinion uh, the fact that there will be uh, like market orders that will come from of course the player hangers and all of that will not be lost if the structure uh, itself is destroyed um, so there are two different ways of recovering impounded items to an NPC station which will of course cost something or uh, build another citadel uh, and, and then you can uh, have that moved there. One thing to note is that in the current set of the dev block, they're saying that you will not be able to move um, goods from uh, impounded goods from a destroyed citadel uh, from normal space to, to normal space. Uh, so you will have to either build a new citadel inside the wormhole and then have your goods moved there. Um, but I also read uh, in one of the uh, threads that CCP is actually open to just having no recovery in wormhole space. And for me personally, that makes the most sense. Just have everything drop uh, as, a, as possible loot. It's wormhole space. Uh, it's not like you can have uh, ships uh, uh, staying out there indefinitely or NPCs that are going to impound this and keep it safe or something like that. It's wormhole space. It's, it's tough to live there. You're not supposed to actually just live there your entire uh, playtime and thus make that uh, quite punishing uh, but also quite rewarding for anyone that goes after a citadel in wormhole space have all of that stuff possibly drop make that really the hardest uh, the hardest and the most punishing risk that you're taking i actually think that because it's wormhole space that that is how it should work and i already read that ccp is actually open to that um, that leaves us with players docked inside the structure when it was lost so the player is spotted with all normal rules so uh, your implants are lost and moved to his or her medical station i already saw some discussion on that uh, saying that people would then just start logging off in space and personally um I, uh, uh, there was actually a CCP response that, well, if that's the case, then we maybe should not have them potted, uh, but maybe just have them um, spawn in space somewhere in their pot or something like that. Personally, uh, I think that this is not too harsh. The only thing you're really going to lose is uh, your implants because, um, well, the player ship will be safely imp impounded and saved. So it's really only about the implants. And uh, honestly, I don't think that... All the players are just going to start logging off in space because of that and the punishment seems apt if you're locked uh, if you log off inside a structure that one gets destroyed while while you're not playing well you end up in your medical clone wherever that is so it's not like you can't start over uh, it's not like you're completely stuck or anything like that i, th I personally think that uh, being potted losing the implants um, is something that uh, that feels okay and uh, is, is an okay implementation i don't really see that big of a hassle with it if you really want to avoid it then uh, yeah you'll have to log off outside of the structure if on the other hand your structure is under attack you see that and you want to be able to log off uh, log in straight in the structure and be able to start shooting things well you'll want to be docked up for that so i actually don't think that everyone will simply decide to log off in space to save their pot uh, honestly I, I really don't see that happening just because you want to be able to log in and then you're in the structure so you can start using the weapons so honestly i think that uh, just um keeping that safe there's not really a reason to do that uh visibility of course they're gonna try and make all of the mechanics as, as uh, clear and visible uh, as possible um and then there's just basically an example of uh, of all of these mechanics uh, as they are at the moment so yeah I, I do like the fact that two dev blocks under citadels um, have uh, have been deployed that does mean that ccp is really trying to develop those and uh, it gives me a little bit of hope that we may see them this year that would be absolutely awesome i've got a few billion in minerals ready to actually uh, make uh, or buy uh, possibly one of those uh, citadels when they come out and at the moment i'm probably leaning towards going for a large one having my uh, my 
high-sec capital ships docked up there should look really cool and then uh, yeah maybe try and set up my own little trade hub if i find the right system to do so uh, but again keep in mind all of this is of course subject to change if you have feedback if you have ideas make sure to let ccp know about those uh, because this is the time to do it uh, if you see some real problems this is really the time to let ccp know so they can actually anticipate all of that and fix it beforehand anyways that's it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.